Okay, so y'all, my phone completely just fucking fell off the damn um, thing. So this is where I left off at, right? This is part two of narcissistic person who's been adopting kids and grooming them for sexual favors and shit like that. So, whew, this story is kind of heavy. It's not even kind of, it's heavy as fuck. So this divine masculine here going through a heavy, heavy tire moment, but also... um. They play dumb or pretend they don't understand what you want from them. He does. He knows exactly what you want. And he's going to give it to you. He's going to give it to you. He is. Motherfucker already coming in your dreams. Motherfucker always uh, 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 pops up, texts you. He just going through some shit. But that does not give him the right to go MIA on you. It just don't go give him the right to go MIA. Speak, talk, holler, whisper, Morse code, send a bird, message in a bottle. Hey, I'm going through some shit. Communication is key. Hey, I'm going through something. I'm still thinking about you. I love you. Whatever. What did you eat today? What's the weather like over there? Are you cold? You hot? Something. Shit. People tired of guessing how you feel. That's the whole thing. We tired of guessing how people feel. Nobody wants that. Okay? Even though we know you going through some shit, so are we. Everybody goes through shit. You just got some shit to, woo, child. I mean, it's why did I put four? Somebody could be seeing fours. Four, four, four. I'll just put this in a neat little box, didn't I? This person is in a neat little box. He's trying to keep it all together, but his life is really kapoosh. Every fucking where. Everywhere. His life is everywhere. His emotions is everywhere. This motherfucker's reverse. Do y'all know what a reverse king of cups is? Y'all don't know what a reverse king of cups is. <laughs> look, some reversed... <sighs> look, child, look. A upright king of cups is someone who is very intuitive, very emotional, very non-toxic masculinity very mature very emotionally equipped to handle things this person reversed right now is the opposite of all of that immaturity overly emotional which may means mean as fuck overindulging somebody's drinking liquor to help them get through this it's not working isn't it put the bottle down um, someone stays high all the time, needs weed, I need weed, I need weed, I need weed, I can't have sex without weed, I can't think without weed, I can't eat without weed, this is a coping mechanism, even though, you know, weed is better, way better than any other drug, but, weed is from earth, <laughs> I don't smoke, I don't care, I'm just trying to take up for you weed smokers, you know. Some of you guys do need to cut back on smoking weed, though, for sure. Yes, Spirit is saying yes. Somebody smokes weed and think they're really connected to Source. They're connected to their ego. Uh, sorry to tell you. Um, you don't need any drug to connect to Source. Moment of silence there, because you're about to get your feelings hurt. So, anyway, all the mushrooms and shit, I mean, I guess... When you can just do that without much, what you need a, a drug for to y'all not feeling me, whatever, bro. Anyway, because I can meditate or I can just sit here and ask my God, show me who I was in the past. Like, oop, I see me on the throne with my king. Um, no drugs involved, ladies and gentlemen. So, you somebody about to get mad with that little message, right? You don't need that shit. You just use it for a coping mechanism. This is what this this King of Cups is doing. This is what this Divine Masculine is doing. He's very, 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 very reversed. He feels like he's in a higher commitment, but this shit is about to end. He feels like he's been in a higher commitment with this person, but this shit is about to end. He's in a relationship with a narcissist that adopted him as a child or raised him as a child and groomed him to be exactly what she wanted him to be in her little image. He is now breaking out of that. He's, this is where I left out that he's looking at this past relationship because, of course, this is his mother figure. Somebody looks at older women as mother figures. So when you came into his life, he was like, what the fuck is this? She's not older. She's not manipulative. She don't want nothing from me. She don't want nothing from me. She don't want anything from me. What the fuck is this? Somebody can actually love me for who I am without me even giving much. 
what the fuck is this? And he knows he wasn't given much. In these relationships, in these, this situation, he was given too much. And that's how he loved, was to give too much. But when he came across you, he treated you like shit. He treated you like, I'm not giving this bitch not a goddamn thing, but you giving it to these dark-ass narcissistic energies, though, who don't reciprocate. You see how it is? You're conditioned. You need to get the fuck out of that outdated thinking. You think when somebody really cares about you is when somebody really goes off on you, when somebody really argues, when somebody really breaks shit up. That's not love, stupid. Somebody talk with a lisp, but that's not love. Busting out windows and flattening tires and saying, fuck you, motherfucker. That is not love. Love is unconditional. Love is no struggle. Love is pure. When this divine feminine, you now learning that shit now, Spirit said. When divine feminine came in your life, you thought she was being manipulative. You thought she was being manipulative. No, she was just showing you how she really felt and who you really are to her in her eyes. She's seen the light in you. You are now learning that through a very, that is your lesson at hand. Love is not dark. Love is not hard. Love is not this. That is your lesson at hand. And now that you know what you're going to do. I heard move on and move out. When you get a dose of divine feminine love, because you guys don't live together. You guys are, somebody lives far apart from each other. You have to drive at least an hour away to get to her. Or meet up somewhere. But when you find out that real love is real love, my ring is now blue. It's pure love. It's going to be pure fuck. I wonder what my colors was throughout this whole video. That's interesting. I might look back on that. When it's pure love, it's coming from a place of deep, dark ocean. Like the deep, dark ocean. It's deep. It's deeper than the ocean. You don't know what it is, but it just feels so right. It feels so right to catch a wave. Somebody surfs. It feels so right to catch a wave and swim and get back up and go through another tide again and swim again. It feels so right. That's what the type of love this is. That's why water is connected to emotions because it's deep and it's dark and it's just, it goes, it keeps flowing. It's everlasting. It's, it just flows effortlessly. It just keep going. Every, keep going. Keep going. This shit needs to come to an end. You need to wake the fuck up. Look, Look, we not saying fuck them kids, but we saying fuck them kids. <laughs> we saying fuck them kids, because them kids ain't yours. And also, even if it was yours, even if it was yours, <laughs> then you would have to, a, a huger problem. Then you would have to, you know, for real, have to put some karmic work in to, to maybe fix that child. But baby, this ain't your child. <laughs> you got to go. This shit ain't going to end until you do 747 on the clock. You got to say, fuck everybody. That soul situation in that house, that apartment is a lesson. A lesson for you to truly know what love is. And that's who Divine Feminine was when she came into your life. True love. True love. Oh, child. We already know the manipulation that this old hag bitch been doing. We already know. We already know, don't we? So what is going to happen between you and Divine Feminine? Because this shit going to have to end. This little mirror, this little narcissistic person, this, that shit's an ending now. This person, look, karmic, he don't want you. Oh, your initials is C. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, your initials is N. Oh, oh, hey, how you doing? I have a H, Henrietta. Are you Henrietta? Hey, bitch. <laughs> Somebody initials is S L. Mm -hmm. We well, wasn't supposed to be giving. Oh, we know we supposed to be giving the initials on divine masculine. We give it initials on the uh, the karmic. Hey, karmic key. Mm -hmm. We can get ascending, ascending away from this. You will ascend into a higher level of commitment as soon as you stop being afraid of real love. You still think that this tower is love. No, they really love me. They really don't want me to go. They really, they really fiending for me. They really begging for me not to leave. This is love. This is, this, no, it's not. Because when a person truly loves you, they will let you go so you can find your happiness, find your peace. Find out whoever the fuck you supposed to be. And you know when I get in the rhyme and I get in the motherfucking job. And let's not forget now. They know that is true love. This is a dark ass reading. Knight of Swords. You need to come rushing in. Knight of Cups. Whoa. Ho, ho. You want to come rushing in with this offer. You just have burdens. 
you have burdens, you have obstacles. Knock out these obstacles, knock out these burdens. You want to come in so fast and so bad because she's slipping through your fingers. She's slipping away. You feel energetically not tied to her. You don't feel the energetically tied anymore. You don't, you don't, it's not there anymore. It's because what her spirit guides have uh, told her to do or what she felt in her heart was right to do, which was walk away from this shit because you're not doing anything. You're not showing shit. You're not saying shit. The communication is, is fumbled on your end. But you show is holding on to her, aren't you? Four of Pentacles here. You're you're holding on to divine feminine strong for what? And you ain't showing her shit. You the King of Wands. You took leadership on this on this situation, but have you taken leadership and and actually expressed emotions? Seven of Spears. You gonna work hard at this? You gonna plant the seeds? All right. What are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Because in this situation with this Tower moment, you're reverse as fuck, but upright. You are who is who are you upright with? Who are you upright with? Let's see. Let's see what comes out. Who are you upright with? Wow. Your happiness. Three of cups out here on the floor. Your happiness is divine feminine. Three of cups out here. Your happiness is what else? Who are you upright with? Nine of spirits. Somebody who's successful, single, abundant. Got all the fucking answers. Hustling. She's the king of pentacles. She's the fucking king of pentacles. She's in her masculine king of pentacles energy. This is her, not you. Spirit said, damn right. She's in her king of pentacles. Meanwhile, you in some... <laughs> Your pentacles is fucked. Your pentacles is reversed as hell. Y'all see how it is now? It's flipped, it flipped right in my hand. It's reversed as fuck. Because you giving your money to some bullshit. Or this lady is taking your money. This lady is taking your money. She found your stash. She's been digging in it. I suggest you count it. Wow. Look at the lovers. Look at this is. This is your happiness. Your happiness is the lovers. Okay. Look. The nine of spirits. Your happiness is the lovers. It's at bottom of the deck. Wow. Give and take. Receiving. This love will be receiving. Giving and taking. This love will be receiving and giving. This love will be reciprocated. This love will be generous love. This love will be... I'm going to show you what my left hand do and you receiving your right hand. Look at this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the things that you've been giving me. Even the little, let me tell you something, Divine Feminine, the little Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're so beautiful to him. Let me let me tell you something, Queen of Wands. He sees you for who you are. Don't think he don't know who you is. Don't think that. Don't think he don't know your worth because he do. Don't think he don't know he's been breadcrumbing you because he do. This motherfucker has to go through a karmic relationship that is heavy on him and you but more so he's living in it so bitch <laughs> you get what i'm saying now okay this person needs to fucking say something quiet quiet it's quiet you're just quiet therefore the queen of wands that's your justice that's you cry every fucking night over this you a cry baby ass you need to say something. Say hello, hi. I miss you, Michelle. I miss you, Talisa. Somebody met at a bar. You had your little boots on, you know, cowboy hat. You guys were doing some dance that everybody dan does in a bar at the same time. It's like the electric slide, but it's on some um, country shit. Y'all, let me know what that dance is. Y'all met like that. You had on dark jeans. He had on brown ones or some brown slacks or something. Something like that with a fucking deer belt or something like that. Um, Y'all met at one of those community gatherings to where everybody do a dance and everybody's having a time, good time and drinking and shit. You have long brown hair. You have horses on a ranch, pigs, all that good shit. You shit, you living my life, bitch. <laughs> hey, shit, I want that too. Oh, shit. I just want to be around animals. It's just the star seed in me because uh, people ain't shit. So anyway, as we can tell, <laughs> um, 
But that is your justice crying over this person. 14, 44 o'clock. Ain't that divine how I needed to channel that story to get back on 14, 44 o'clock and say, that's your justice. Your justice is crying over someone that you're not bringing balance to. Bro, if you bring balance to this girl, if you literally say, hey, can we talk? She gonna be like, okay. This is the type of woman that's going to listen to you. This Queen of Wands is not going to bash you. This Queen of Wands is not going to judge you. This Queen of Wands is going to listen to you, look at you, look in you in your eye, and know how sincere you really are speaking to her so she can know for herself. That's the only why, reason why she's going to look you in your eyes so she can know what's really real and what's not. 15, 25, 1 o'clock. Somebody did, been dealing with somebody for 3 years, 15 years, 7 years. This has been a long time coming. You need to speak. You looking at all these other problems instead of looking at this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands is your solution to everything. No, you're not going to burden her with those things. That's not a burden to her. That's you opening up and you letting her know how much you love her and also what's going on in your life. She's not going to turn you away. She's not. That's that's on notification on fucking Twin Flames, bitch. Okay, and what if, hold on. That's all notification of Twin Flames. Y'all just got a notification in my in my Gmail. Hold on. Let's see what the, let's see what Spirit got, got for us. This is a message. Hold on. My twin and I recently ended our period of separation and have been living together for the past year. The start was very challenging. Hold on. Read more. Hold on. <laughs> we finna go right to this. Hold on, y'all. Where is that? Is this it? No, nope, I gotta go back. Let me find a link. Okay, read more right here. Boom. Here we go. I told y'all my team be sending me 